Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, March the 11th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 11. The third aim continued. Although we possess property and earn money to support ourselves and our families, we show ourselves to be true followers of Christ and of St. Francis by our readiness to live simply and to share with others. We recognize that some of our members may be called to a literal following of St. Francis in a life of extreme simplicity. All of us, however, accept that we avoid luxury and waste and regard our possessions as being held in trust for God. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night. While well, all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things. How I went with the multitude and led them to the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted with me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him. Who is the help of my countenance and my God? My soul is heavy within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, from the peak of Mizar, and from the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, Why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while my enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, Where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Gracious God, in the night of distress we forget the days of sun and joy. Even when we do not know your presence, preserve us from the dark torrent of despair. We ask this 
In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again he said to them, I am going away, and you will search for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you, and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do, not, I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Then Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. We pray for, for Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, the Acting Governor General, the Prime Minister and members of Parliament, the Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to His holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. We pray for those in our 
kindergartens and elementary schools, our high schools, our community college, and our university. We pray for the teachers and assistants, for the instructors and the professors. We pray for our children in this time of pandemic, in this time where their growth and development has been disrupted. The Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes those afflicted with COVID-19, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We also pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers, mental health workers, researchers, and scientists, in our community, we pray for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, and the Bear Clan. We pray for those awaiting vaccine. We pray for those in fear. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. We remember this day those in our community who will be affected by systemic racism and prejudice or poverty and homelessness. Most especially, we pray for our First Nations brothers and sisters. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the third order, we pray today for the province of Asia Pacific, for Hong Kong, Malaysia, South Korea, Sri Lanka, and Singapore. And we pray for Valerie, Sarah, Robert, Dorothy, Mary, Bill, Calvin, Sue, Cynthia, Charmaine, Alexander, Lynn, Rock, Benjamin, Wally Wah, Walter, Carol, and Paul. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect. Father of mercy, alone we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. When we are discouraged by our weakness, strengthen us to follow Christ, our pattern and our hope, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. 
May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.